Hello everyone, I am Dr. Speciality. I would like to explain about the metallurgy and material science. Uh, welcome to this metallurgy and material science, which is a basic subject for any mechanical engineers. Metallurgy and material science is a multidisciplinary field that deals with the discovery and design of new materials. Always new materials open to the doors of the new technologies, whether they are in chemical, civil, construction, automobile, nuclear, agricultural, aeronautical, biomedical, electrical or mechanical engineering. As I had already mentioned that this is a basic subject for mechanical engineering students. Before going into the details of the subject, let me explain about what are the learning objectives as well as the learning outcomes of this metallurgy and material science. Learning objectives are acquire the knowledge and the structure of metals and properties, understand the concepts of alloys and equilibrium diagrams, demonstrate the concept of heat treatment and metal working process, introduce the basic concepts of composites and manufacturing process of FRP composite materials. Now the learning outcomes are these are nothing but at the end of the course what the students are able to learn. Estimate the properties of the materials based on the structure and properties. Classify, construct and analyze the equilibrium diagrams. Analysis and distinguish various ferrous and non-ferrous materials. Identify the influence of mechanical working and heat treatment principles on material properties. Classify, analyze the composite materials and suggest a suitable manufacturing methods for fiber reinforced composite materials. Now let me explain what is metallurgy and material science. Metallurgy is an art and science of extracting the metals from the ores and adopting these materials for satisfying the human wants. Whereas the material science investigates the relation between structure and properties of materials. So now I can say that metallurgy and material science mainly deals with extraction of materials from the ores, usage of these materials to the human wants and also knowing the structure and properties of the materials in order to judge a suitable material for a application. Now let me explain why an engineer need to know about the materials. The study of materials is important to an engineer as the ease of appropriate material is crucial when designing the system. Now here at this juncture I would like to explain that there are many materials available in nature and whenever I want to design a product or whenever I want to design a structure, I should know which material is going to be best suited for that. In order to decide the material, I should know about the properties of the materials and also I should know about the structure of that material. I should know about the structure of that material. And now I can say that the knowledge of materials allows the design engineer not only to make the best selection as a function of its application in a product, but also to overcome its limitations where the transformation technology become variables of the creation process. Here, what I mean to say that the structure and properties of materials are going to help us to decide the material for a product or a structure. And next one is, whenever the material is used in the product, it may be subjected to various loads or it may be subjected to heat because of the applied loads as well as the heat. They may be changing the structure and properties of the materials. And, and as a result, the material engineer should know about the structure and properties of the materials and also know what may be the change in the structure and properties of the materials when it is used in a product. So here, okay, so now here I can say that the performance of the product is, will be decided by the properties exhibited by the material and as a result, and as a result, it is important to know the initial properties and structure of the material and also in application, it is important to know what may be the changes or what may affect the change in the properties and structure of the materials. And now, we have slight difference between material science and material engineering. Material science deals with relationship between structure and properties of the material, whereas material engineering involves application of structure, property, correlation in designing the engineering materials with the tailored properties. The next one is engineering materials. So now here, all of your mechanic engineer. So now I would like to explain what is the engineering material. So engineering materials 
are the substances used in structures, machines, devices or products. The knowledge of engineering materials is important for a mechanical engineer to build and design different kinds of structures, machines, automobiles etc. without any problem and for long usage. So now here the knowledge of materials is important because the mechanical engineer is always involved in designing the products, designing the structures, designing the automobiles and he should be able to choose the material in such a way that it will not cause any problem during the usage of the product and also it should go for long usage or in other words I can say that it should have a long life. Um, the next one is classification of engineering materials. As I had already mentioned that we have various materials available at nature and we can transfer the materials based on various uh, categories but in general the engineering materials are mainly classified based on the properties. These are classified as metals, ceramics, polymers or plastics and composite materials. Now the metallic materials can be classified as ferrous materials and non-ferrous materials. Whenever the iron is the main element inside the metallic material, we name the material as ferrous materials. And if any other metallic material is the main, el main element in that material, we name it as a non-ferrous materials. And again we have the ceramic materials. These are nothing but the crystalline ceramics and glasses. Uh, polymeric materials, we can classify them as thermoplastic materials, thermosets and elastics. Uh, composite materials, I can classify them as metal matrix composites, polymer matrix composites, ceramic matrix composites, carbon-carbon uh, composite materials. Whereas here if you try to see that metallic materials, ceramic materials and polymeric materials are going to have individual properties whereas the composite material is a combination of either the metallic, ceramic or uh, polymeric materials here. Composite is nothing but a combination of two or more different materials at the microscopic level. So the properties of the composite material are going to depend upon the are going to depend upon the materials which are there inside it. If the metallic material is more in amount in the composite material, it tries to exhibit mostly the metallic properties. If ceramic materials are more in the composite material, it tries to exhibit the ceramic properties. If the polymeric metal is more in the composite material, it tries to exhibit the polymeric material properties. And not only the materials are important in the composite material, how the materials are presented inside the composite material is also going to decide the properties of the material. And, and also the size and shape of the materials inside the composite material are going to dictate the properties of the composite material. So usually the composite materials are made from special applications. Here I can say that whenever we want to have a special material which is not available, whenever we want to have a material with a special properties which is not available in metallics, which is not available in the ceramic or which is not available in the polymeric material or whenever we want a better properties than the metallic, ceramic and polymeric materials, we go for composite material where I can tailor make the material for a particular applications. Okay viewers, in this lecture I had explained about the objectives and outcomes of the metallurgy and material science, provided a brief introduction to the importance of materials to mechanical engineering and also explained about the engineering materials and their classification. In the next lectures, I will be explaining about the remaining part of the metallurgy and material science. Okay, thank you one and all. Thank you.